New details on empty threats made to Norman High School and the ongoing police investigation. We told you last night that in August, in back-to-back -back calls, someone said they were going to bring a gun to the school. Thankfully, nothing of the sort happened. Our Barry Mangold looks at the district's search for suspects. We determined through investigation that there was no immediate threat, but the investigation is ongoing. The school district and police department in Norman prepared for the absolute worst case scenario on August 29th after someone threatened to bring a gun to Norman High School. Well, we're going to err on the side of caution. We're, we're going to ensure that we have the necessary response. We're going to make sure that we have officers in those schools to, to keep that safe learning environment uh, for, the, for the students. According to a search warrant released this week, school staff received two calls on Friday, August 26th, where a male voice threatened to bring an AR-15 to Norman High the following Monday. The caller said, quote, we have more people than you know. The NHS principal sent two messages to parents and staff about the threat, one on the day of the phone calls and a second email on Sunday, August 28th. Police assigned additional officers to the school on August 29th. Thankfully, the day was like any other. NHS parent Donna Fagan says the situation keeps tensions high, especially when they don't know all the details. I feel like uh, there's a level of disappointment when it comes to communication to the parents um, because it really heightens the anxiety of the kids and we aren't able to decompress with them at home. As Barry Mangold reporting tonight, police say the service provider behind the phone calls is called Text Now. The search warrant ordered the company to turn over phone logs and media files related to the threats.